Okay, here it is, folks. You needed to see it. This is the fight between Meghan and Harry in the car after uh, Harry's laughing and snorting and sad-faced meltdown at the Well Child Awards. So first, Harry is in the car, and they're obviously fighting. She's like, tell it to the hand, okay? And she's upset. Next, Harry switches to the front seat. This is him. I think that's Harry's elbow. Harry's getting into the front seat. Megan is holding her head like, ah. Okay, the security guy is with the red beard is looking a little uncomfortable. Next, it looks like Harry, the next photo looks like Harry is getting out of the car. And Megan is looking even more uncomfortable. It looks like she's actually hiding her face. So this may actually be one time in recorded human history when Megan actually doesn't want the camera there and wants privacy. And now she's looking like a deer in the headlights and Harry is replaced by the security guy in the front seat and he's looking at Megan like, is there going to be a problem? And the red beard guy is like, I don't know what to do. Good day, YouTubers. Uh, time for a spot of royal tea. Uh, snowflake alert. Okay, so... We saw Megan, Megan and Harry fighting, okay, so all was not well. And now they're, they're playing the victim card, that they're victims of everyone, and it's so terrible being in the media spotlight all the time. But what they're really doing is they're sucking up all the media oxygen all the time. Uh, they're just trying for constant coverage, and they're, it literally seems to me that they're trying to uh, prevent the media from covering Kate and William at all. So let me, let me read you a quote. An emotional Prince Harry says, quote, It's a wound that festers. I think being part of this family in this role and in this job, every time I see a camera, every single time I hear a click, every single time I see a flash, it takes me straight back. So in that respect, it's the worst reminder of his late mother, Princess Diana, life as opposed to the best. Being here now, 22 years later, trying to finish what she started will be incredibly emotional, but everything I do reminds me of her. But as I said, with the role, with the job, and the sort of pressures that come with that, I get reminded of the bad stuff, unfortunately. So Harry is saying that everything he does reminds him of Diana. It's a long time, dude. Okay, Meghan Markle. She says, any woman, especially when you're pregnant, you're really vulnerable. So that is made really, that was made really challenging. And then when you have a newborn, and especially as a woman, it's a lot. So you add this on top of just trying to be a new mom or trying to be a newlywed, it's dot, dot, dot. Thank you for asking because not many people have asked if I'm okay. But it's a very real thing to be going through behind the scenes. Not many people have asked if I'm okay. They're really playing the victim cards. We need to look at this. I mean, because it's just all contradictions. We just saw that fight. I just showed you the fight in the car. What they're doing and what they're saying are opposites, okay? It's just like Harry laughing, snorting, because he laughs so hard, and then he comes up with sad face, okay, at the well child. It's all contradictions. What they're saying and what they're doing is all contradictory. Okay, so are Meghan and Harry trying to obliterate any media coverage of William and Kate's trip to Pakistan? Because I think it was a very successful trip. There were no major mistakes, which is what you're supposed to be doing. As a royal, you're just supposed to not make mistakes. Show up, be beautiful, speak bland words, and don't make mistakes. That's, they do that very well. Are Meghan and Harry trying to obliterate, wow, any media cup, wow. Oh dear. These are obliteration cards. We got tens. Tens are completion.
So this is like an all-out war. Okay, so are Meghan and Harry. So they're saying all of this media coverage, oh, it's so hard. It's hard because she's a mother and she feels so vulnerable. It's hard for Harry because Harry is always thinking about Diana and, you know, his mother Diana and carrying on her work. I don't know if the public's going to buy this. We're going to have to ask. Uh, so are they trying to obliterate? Are they actually doing the opposite? Are they actually trying to obliterate uh, Kate and William's all press, just keep all eyes on them? Earthquake is completion and obliteration. Ten hearts using emotions, and that's what they're doing. They're playing the victim, the wealthiest, most privileged people in the world who spend infinite amounts of money. They're victims. So they're trying to obliterate it by using emotional tactics. At, but behind the scenes, the King of Spades will do anything. The King of Spades is almost like the devil. But the King of Spades is smarter and, and harsher. The devil is more random. They'll, they will cut your head off. They'll do anything. So they are, this is a, like, a straight up putting a contract on Kate and William's media persona. Okay, behind, they're pretending to do every. It's all charity and good works. Finger of God, it's everyone else's fault. Things are just coming in from the outside. Uh, planting, we got two aces. New, cutting the root. Hmm. Not sure what that is. So on their mind is, okay, on their mind is events coming from the outside. They, again, they're very, Megan and Harry, Megan is worried about this book coming out by this famous author. Megan is worried uh, about events related to Andrew coming out. Megan is worried about uh, a, a sex tape and maybe pornos. She's worried about outside events. So she's keeping everyone distracted and, and playing the emotion cards. And she's very charitable. She's playing all the emotion cards. Feel sorry for me. Feel sorry for Harry. And she's now being successful dragging Harry in. Okay, before, all of these celebrities, they were saying, stop attacking Meghan Markle. Okay, and now, very recently, now they're saying, stop attacking Meghan and Harry. Because Harry has a much better reputation than Meghan. And so she's pulling Harry into it uh, so that her she will look better. She's standing with Harry, so Harry is standing with her, so she'll look better. I'm not sure what this cutting mustard seed and straight razor. Are they trying? Yeah, they're ni this is nipping it in the bud. Any news event for anyone else, she immediately dives in and makes sure it's all about her. So on the one hand, they're working this strategy that is just absolutely cutthroat and devastating, just absolutely trying to obliterate and annihilate Kate and William's press, which they're doing. I, you're not hearing any press about Kate and William in Pakistan almost. They're very worried about outside events. They're these charitable people, feel sorry for them, and they're on it all the time. They're, they're nipping any other news story in the bud to make it all about them. So that's really exactly the opposite of what they're saying. Oh, stop looking at me, I'm so private. But really, they'll do anything to get media attention. And that's what they're doing. You know, and I think this is the all news is good news things because there's so much bad news. But Megan is very emotional about all the bad news. So either way, she plays the victim. She she wants all this media attention. If it's negative, she constantly complains that it's negative and she's a victim. So does the public view Meghan and Harry as victims of the press? You know, they're suing everybody. They're suing the Sun, the, the Mirror, the Daily Mail. These are the best papers. Uh, or are they viewed as publicity hounds? Okay, are they victims or publicity hounds? How does the public view them? Are they buying this victim stuff? Scapegoat. Okay, we've got an honest man and woman. Hmm. Okay, so 
are they buying this narrative? Are they victims or publicity nouns? hounds? Okay, over the long term, day after day, doing the same thing, Trinity working everything together opportunistically and blame 11 and 4, 15, 4 clubs, very opportunistic. So every day they're taking every opportunity and working everything together to blame others. So is the public buying it? working everything together. They, I think the public is smart and they see that, that they're just blaming everybody. It's just a game. It's a game because they're so cutthroat underneath. They're so cutthroat. Uh, Megan especially. Uh, Harry was not doing this before Megan. So did Megan coach Harry? Okay, Harry, Harry had that that weird breakdown. He was laughing. He snorted. He was laughing so hard. Then he was doing the sad face, you know, and talking about his feelings about Megan and the baby, you know, and there's duping delight in there. So did Megan coach Harry and insist that he show big emotions at the Well Child Award to grab the headlines? Okay, like you have to show, you have to make it pop, Harry. You know, I know this from uh, being a D-list actress in Hollywood, you know, up in Canada, uh, you have to make it pop and it's going to grab the headlines. It doesn't matter what you do. It can be positive or negative. You just have to show a lot of emotion. Did she coach Harry on this? Did she kind of insist on this? Mercury, karmic shift, angel, Okay, and there was also the report that Harry was very comfortable backstage without Meghan, and then Meghan came and his whole demeanor changed. He became very uncomfortable. Okay, so there's also this suggestion that Meghan is a taskmaster, that she's like always watching him, always on him, and he, she, she's always chasing him, and he can't get away from her. It's like a cat and a mouse. Uh, and I've seen that, and I've experienced it, and it's very uncomfortable. Uh, so... I've been the mouse, you know, and, and I've had women who are cats to me, just always chasing me around. Uh, so is Megan coaching Harry? Well, we have Angel, and this can be about Archie, Karmic Shift, Mercury. Mercury is talking in communication and presenting, presenting as an angel, talking like an angel, big change, talking as an angel. This is... Uh, or it could be talking about Archie, because I'm specifically asking about the point where Harry, he, you know, he laughs, snorts, and breaks down when he's talking about Megan giving birth to Archie, which I think we all kind of agree that Megan did not give birth to Archie, that a surrogate gave birth. So deceptive talking about Archie and a big change. Uh, crossroads, two or more things, full stop. Veil, 1621, yeah, uh, keeping all the secrets and, and, and lying about the relationships. Keeping all the secrets and lying about the relationship. So did Megan coach Harry? Well, she made a big change in how he communicated about Archie. I think she kind of insisted. The other thing is that is, that is said is that Harry was reading from a teleprompter. Okay, and she changed the teleprompter feed to make a pregnancy announcement. And that's what we were seeing. Harry was, was reading a prepared speech from the teleprompter. So she made a big change to the teleprompter so that she would upstage everyone by talking about Archie. And he had to keep the secrets and lie. Okay, so... That's, that's what that's showing me. So Megan went in and changed the teleprompter. She changed his speech so that she could, you know, grab all the spotlight and, and tell everyone. Is this Africa documentary, is this going to be a pick or a pan? 
because the last thing, the last big thing Megan did, besides the Africa trip, okay, and the Africa documentary is coming out tomorrow, uh, was Vogue, okay, and they did the, the change maker ladies, and they didn't include the Queen, they didn't include Kate, they didn't include uh, a whole bunch of people, and it was a big flop. Uh, there were charges of plagiarism, uh, Vogue ran a different cover, uh, what's her name, that singer who's always talking about her relationships, uh, on the, in the America, in the other versions. So in Europe, they ran her Vogue article, they ran her Vogue cover, but everywhere else, it was just a flop, and they had to cut the price. So is this Africa documentary, is it going to be uh, uh, great or a flop? How's it going to... Ooh, two spades. Hmm. So Vogue was a terrible flop. Uh, is it going to be a, a great or a flop? Well, solid, solid foundation, commitment, strength, strong showing, 6 and 11, 17, fence sitter. Fence sitter is just reacting, okay? Reacting to the woman and the broken relationship, 7 and 12, 19, 5 clubs. I think it's going to be a little bit of both. I think it's not going to be, it's not going to be like the Vogue co cover. I think it's going to be split. You know, five hearts is right in the middle. It's right in the middle. Uh, it's going to be fairly solid, but they're not going to like, there's a, a huge victim narrative. Okay, they're going to, they're in Africa. Okay, these very wealthy people, Meghan and Harry, are in Africa among all this poverty and there's murders and rapes and, and the society is collapsing right now. And they're talking, Meghan and Harry are, are weeping and pissing and moaning about how they're victims. That's not going to be received well. It's going to kind of be split. Okay, it's going to be split the audience reaction. It's going to be solid because people care about Africa and they want to hear about it, but it's going to be split there. I think they're not going to like this, this undercurrent of victim victimhood that the victim, the snowflake cards that Megan and Harry are going to play. Is Megan Harry's, uh, is Megan acting as a warden or a wife? Okay, a partner or a taskmaster? Okay, because, you know, she's, she seems to be chasing him around. He seems to be uncomfortable. They left in separate vehicles. Is Megan a warden or a wife now? Make sure I didn't ask that. Is she a warden or a wife? Devil. Incubus, succubus. Player. Wow. Wow. Okay. That just shows you how bad the relationship is. Okay, and we have other examples of this. You know, uh, Megan was at the at the tennis match, uh, you know, in, in England, and they said she was like the nastiest celebrity ever. Okay, and that's warden behavior. That's just being really demanding and nasty. So is, is Megan a warden or a wife to Harry? Incubus, succubus, devil, and player. Wow. Player is very selfish. De nobody's more selfish than the devil. 22... And six, 28, seven spades, secrets. It's all about Megan. It's 100% about Megan, and it's not about anybody else. And so she's absolutely, just absolutely selfish. 
and keeping secrets from Harry. Okay, but she couches it all in love. And this is the cognitive dissonance. This is what we're this is what we're experiencing. And this is why people are are troubled by Megan is the constant cognitive dissonance. She's constantly telling Harry that she loves him and that he's her everything. Okay, and that she's so committed to him. And I actually believe that she really wants to stick around. Okay, she is very committed to being a royal. But all of her actions are absolutely selfish. They're destroying the relationship. They're destroying all the relationships. They're destroying him. They're, she's destroying the relationship between herself and Harry. She's destroying the relationship between Harry and his family. She's destroying the relationship between... Uh, herself and all the royals and her own family and where the heck is Doria we haven't seen Doria for a long time I mean was she beating Doria with a stick or something I mean where's Doria okay there's officially a baby around okay so her behavior is just so negative so selfish player just wants what they want and they go straight after it devil is really malicious and envious and jealous and spiteful and mean okay and so she'll she'll do anything she just takes whatever she wants whatever she wants okay and so there's this talk that she went into that she changed the teleprompter she just comes in she barges in she crashes she crashes the well child thing she changes the teleprompter she just does whatever she wants and it's all about megan it's all about Megan, and it's not about Harry, and she'll destroy Harry to get what she wants. She'll, she'll do whatever, and that's what we're seeing. Let's review. So this King of Spades, she'll, she'll do anything. She has the King of Spades is is. Oh, okay. Let's back up here. Okay, so that's what we're seeing here. So this King of Spades, the King of Spades will do. They have a plan. They're much more. Uh, you know, the devil's always showing up. Here's the devil. But the king of spades has a real plan, following a plan, uh, very organized, and they'll, they'll have other people working with them. That's why this is police, judge, a doctor. <clears throat> this is very organizational. So they, is, is, Her, is Meghan and Harry, are they obliterating the coverage of Kate and Meghan? Yes. And it's very systematic, and they're nipping everything in the bud. Because she's terrified of what's coming. She's afraid of scandals coming for her, and they're acting very charitable. So she has a real plan that she's following, and she, the executioner acts with no emotions, and it's too tense. It's like it's decided, and no one's going to change her mind. Okay, and I don't even think she informs Harry. Uh, do people believe that they're victims or publicity hounds? They believe that uh, they're just they're just playing this blame game. They're always blaming everybody. They're just constantly doing the same thing. So I think half of the people, half of the public, is very aware that they're just playing the victim. Was Megan coaching Harry? This says that she went in and changed the teleprompter, and that's what I heard. I heard that she went in and changed the the speech on the teleprompter to hijack it and make it about. Archie. Here's Archie changing the speech to make it all about Archie and just hijacking the whole Well Child Awards. There's all these terminally ill children and she just wants to talk about herself and, and this can also be the new baby announcement. So she was wearing the green dress and coddling, cradling her bump. She's essentially uh, announcing a pregnancy. Okay, so full stop. Harry, he just choked on it. He choked on it. He had to keep the secrets and tell a lie. He just completely choked on it, and then he went back to his own notes. So he had to ignore the teleprompter because she went and changed it, and he couldn't, he couldn't trust it anymore. And that's what we saw. We saw him laughing, snorting, and sad face. He just choked on what she was doing. She just hijacked the whole thing. Okay, is this Africa thing going to be a flip or a flop. It's going to be split. People are, this is like the relationship with Megan is broken and they're kind of split. They're like not loving Megan, but they do like the topic. They like the Africa topic and it needs to be talked about and they want to see 
uh, good things happen in Africa because such terrible things are happening in Africa. So it's kind of split, fence sitter. It's right in the middle. Half half of the people are going to be like, well, I just don't like Megan, and the other half are going to be like. Well, we, I really want to hear about Africa and what they're doing, and hopefully they can do some good in Africa, even though they may be talking about all, all these women's issues and all kinds of things that aren't really the primary issues in Africa. There's really terrible things going on in Africa, and uh, I really think they were focusing a lot of their attention on many of the wrong issues, uh, things that are much less important than other things going on in Africa. I mean, there's... There's genocide happening in Africa right now. And they didn't talk about that. And they're not talking about it. And it's happening on a mass scale. Uh, okay, is Megan a warden or a wife? She's a warden. She's absolutely selfish. She'll do anything. It's all about Megan. But she's always, gonna, she's always playing the emotions. She's always going to tell Harry how much she loves him. And how much she needs him and how, how important this relationship is to her. But her actions completely belie all of her words. And that's what we're seeing. That's why people are having a problem with Meghan and Harry, because Harry is, uh, Harry's married to Meghan right now. So, you know, we're just going to have to see if Harry is waking up and if he's uh, having enough of this cognitive dissonance where she's just... She's hijacking things and very selfish and sabotaging his whole life and sabotaging the royal family. And we have to see if the queen is going to take action because, you know, people are starting to scream for the queen to take action and to, to put a stop to all these shenanigans. So that's how I see it. That's your royalty today. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.